Hi everyone, this is Carla. Thanks for joining me today. I've been shopping and I picked up a few things and what I'm trying to do is get things that I know I'm going to be using for a project. So I had a few projects in mind so I went ahead and went shopping and got a few things that I'd like to share with you. First thing I want to share is I got these two uh, dish towels at Walmart. They were mainstays. They were $2.47 a piece and they measure 16 inches by 26 inches. I have a project for those and so I did get those. Then I got some more tea towels at Bed Bath & Beyond. These are a set of two and they're $9 a set but they're nice uh, tea towels. They're, uh, like I said, two in a set, and I went ahead and pre-washed them because I've been working on some of the projects that I uh, had hoped to do, and these are pretty large, which really works best for what I'm doing. These are 18 inches by 28 inches, and I picked up two of the gold, which I've used the gold, and I picked up two of the black, and I picked up two of the red. So I've got plans for those. So that's a good thing. And I went to Joann's and I picked up some fabric. And one of the fabrics I picked up is a sports fabric. Um, we are pretty close to Arkansas around here. And a lot of kids go to uh, Fayetteville, which is AU. And that's the Razorbacks, the Razorback country. So I got some fabric uh, for that to use with one of my towel projects. And I also got some Chiefs, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs were pretty big around here, although we did have an upset and we're not in the Super Bowl, that's okay. We still love our Chiefs. So I got this to use with some of my towels to make a project. And then for uh, the same kind of thing, I got some Christmas fabric. Now, at Joann's, this fabric was, the sport fabric was 30% off. And the Christmas fabric, can you believe that, was 50% off. So I went ahead and picked up some to use for projects for, you know, the craft fair coming up next year, or this year, I guess, now. And you, you can always uh, get things started. You can never be too far ahead <laughs> if you do a craft fair. But this, I don't know if you can see, it's got a little bit of uh, glitter sparkle in it. It's a little gingerbread man. I thought that was cute. And this one, also 50% off. It looks like little, um, kind of like little postage stamps to me or little stickers or something. All Christmas kind of retro type. Uh, stamps they look like on there so I like the variety of colors there you can use with a lot of things and then I picked up this was uh, it's kind of red with a little gold dot in the background I thought that would be nice for the projects I'm going to be working on so that'll keep me busy for a while and I will tell you that I made a video doing the project and if you watch that keep in mind I I'm not a big seamstress. I'm not real learned in it, learned in it, but I'm trying to learn. And uh, if you will watch it, bear with me. It's a long video, but when you make a sewing video, I think it just is long unless you've got, you know, the type of editing program where you can speed things up and talk over it. But I don't have that. So it's a little long. If you watch it, please stay with me. Okay. Now the other thing this I ordered and uh, on from HSN and I'm planning on using this on my next giveaway. I'm hoping to hit 3,000 before long. And if I do, I want to give away uh, this for sure. There will be something else to go with it. This is an Anna Griffin. Uh, this is the 3D Victorian concentric dies. Now I have this. And I absolutely love it. So if you're an Anna Griffin fan or you want to try some of her dyes, just keep watching when we finally get to 3,000, which may take a while, but I'm going to hang on to this. This will be the giveaway. 
Okay, another thing. Okay, from uh, Amazon. Well, before we go to Amazon, let's go back to, I think this was Michael's. Yeah, I got this at Michael's, I think. Michael's? Yeah, this was Michael's. And it's, or Joann's. It was Joann's. I'm sorry, it was Joann's. This is Bow Bunny, and I just love this paper. I It's a six by eight, and they had theirs on sale for 40% off, all their pads. And I have a die that I wanna use this with, so I already have in mind what I might use it with. It's called Garden Grove Collection, and just look at all of these beautiful patterns in here. There's, you've got a floral that goes with this solid kind of peachy coral. And that's kind of a, it's kind of a brownish, kind of mauve color, deep, deep, deep mauve. Then you've got this, and that could coordinate with this easily and also with that. And I think the dye I have, I'm gonna use for this, I think this will be perfect. There's some uh, roses, more your neutrals. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is a light, light mauve. And here you've got, looks like hollyhocks, actually. Little hollyhocks. That's pretty. And you've got a coordinating paper with that. Um, oh, look at these roses. Those beautiful colors, little butterflies in there. Oh, these look like more hollyhocks and other types of little flowers, more of your yellows and very light um, peachy corals, kind of. And then you have a stripe that coordinates. Oh, I'm gonna love this paper. It's a pretty sheet. And here's some with little butterflies. This is blue. And then a more neutral sheet. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Looks like a, a wood background. And then you've got your pretty flowers over that. And then we start, and I think this just repeats itself all the way through one more time. So anyway, I'm excited about this. I love those little colors and I've got a dye I wanna use with that. Now let's go to Amazon. Okay. From Amazon, this is a KS Craft die, and it it's a little bunny rabbit Easter type. I think it makes a little kind of like a little treat bag, and I'll have to get that together to show you how that goes. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look at that. May have to go back and look at the picture to figure it out, but that's okay. And this I'm excited about. I'm trying to get lots of little container type dies because when you do a craft fair, you know, you don't want the same packaging for everything every year. You like to kind of change it up a little bit. And so this is cute. I'm not exactly sure what I'll use it for, but I know I will use it. It's called the Matchbox. And uh, it simply makes a little box that will have a drawer that kind of pulls out of it and you can add little things to it. I can see how that can come together and I can see this is probably the little drawer that's gonna go inside. And here's probably the drawer fronts. Isn't that cute? And you can add little tassels or little pools to go on there. So I think that's pretty sweet. Let's get this in here. that one to go in. There we go. And then also from Amazon, I've already opened these and I actually have already used one because I wanted to see how it would work. These are Bible pens and they're supposed to be no bleed, 10 piece Bible journaling pens, no bleed through page, perfect for color coding, journaling, memorizing your Bible or other books. My uh, Bible has little places where you can color in parts of the verse or different things like that. So I wanted to try that with it. I did use it 
on one uh, small thing and it did bleed tiny tiny bit but not too bad so then I went back on and I ordered these these are called Sky Glory Calligraph Pioneer 24 pins and I was thinking these are supposed to be uh, no bleed through too I don't see it on this but I'm thinking that's what it says. It says water-based ink, so I don't know about that. I'll have to give it a shot, and we'll see how it turns out. So there's 24, like I said, in there, and there's really a nice, I think, variety of colors. I don't know if you can see all those. I thought maybe they had the color on the tip, but they don't. But there are a lot of different varieties of the reds, the pinks, yellows. There's almost like two or, two or three of some colors to give you, you know, if you want to shade in or something like that, if you're coloring in your stamps. Okay, let's get that back. Now, the next thing I got from Amazon, you're gonna go, what? <laughs> what, Carla, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about trying to stay ahead of the game. And I went on Amazon and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some Christmas paper. So when it gets to be that season, I will already have it and won't panic and be out there trying to find stuff. So some of this I've had in the past. I had this past year actually, so I did repeat some of it. And when I ordered this, I was surprised to find that when I received my order, they had like an inventory page and a lot of these had been reduced. And I thought that was just wonderful. You know, what would have been 15 something for this was only 13 something or, you know, and these are reduced down too. So I thought that was a good deal. So I got the Winter Woodland Paper Collection from Miss Kate's Cuttables. I've had this before and it is a really nice collection. And then I got her uh, die cuts to go with that. Lots of different things on the back because you can always use those, so I got that. And for the next one, this is also um, Miss Kate's Cuttables, and this is Oh What Fun Paper Collection. And I've also had this one, and I liked it. And I've had these cut-aparts before too, or the die cuts rather, and I have used almost all of them. So I got another pack of those that coordinate with that. And the next one I got is, this is also Miss Kate Cuttables. I love her stuff. It's always got nice colors that go together. I'm trying to see if this is double or single side. This is double sided. I like double sided. And then I got the package of, um, let's see, is this a Christmas Eve? Rest of Christmas die cuts. Maybe I couldn't find a Christmas Eve one. Let me look here. Dear Santa, cold days. Okay, I got this set and it doesn't really totally match with that, but I think I can use some of these on there too. And it does come with a sticker sheet. So I like those different prints in there. And then I got Miss Kate Cuttables again. This is double-sided, but look at this paper. I don't think I had this one. I love the colors. I love the stickers. I love the little penguins. They are so cute. And I did get the set of die cuts that go with that. They're really cute. And on the back, you can see all the different ones. Oh, those penguins are adorable and the colors. I love those colors. And then the last one I got is called Dear Santa. And I don't think I had this one this year either, but it is a really nice set as well. I'm trying to see. It's got a sticker. I can't tell if it's double-sided. It is double-sided. So that's a good deal. When you're making some things for craft fairs, you almost need that double-sided paper. Like if you're making uh, little pouches to put little treats in, it's nice to have something showing from the inside as well as the outside. And these are the little Dear Santa die cut pack that goes with it. Even though you do get a sticker sheet, 
in there and it says you also get four by sheet or four sheets with four by four elements so you're going to get some cut aparts oh yeah i see now lots of cut aparts i see that on the others too good deal good deal and on this one look at these colors i love it and i know we're getting ready for easter not christmas but like I said, uh, it's going to be nice to kind of maybe get a jump start this year. So anyway, that's my haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, as I said, if you want to watch my project video using some of these other things that I got, these towels and the fabric, uh, just hop on and watch it. And please try to make it to the end. I know it's long, but... If you could try to make it to the end, I would appreciate that so much. Would appreciate your thumbs up, would appreciate a like, and would love to have you subscribe if you're a new watcher to my channel. And if you know of any friends who like to watch videos, just kind of refer me on, and I would appreciate that so much. Until next time, bye-bye.